Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Kayleen Stern coming at you with a little bit of a food comparison here. Some snacks and a little experiment that I want to try with some of the MRA Nation goodies and some items from mystery boxes that I've gotten. Plus, I dug into my own stash to get a, two of the items. But uh, what I'm going to be doing is just comparing some different uh, snacks and bars and the first thing I'm going to start off with is my little experiment so I'll push these to the side what I have here is the true lemon and the true lime that come in the MRA Nation rations and I have the remainder of my carbonated water that I used to uh, mix with the cola drink in my last review. And I have a little bit of uh, sugar here that I can adjust for sweetness. So basically what I'm going to do for this experiment, and it will give me something to drink while I, uh, while I uh, get into these little snacks, I'm going to make my version of a lemon lime soda. So what I'm going to do is open these uh, packets up Okay, I have the lime I'm going to pour them in uh, one at a time so you can see what they look like. Here goes the lime It has a slight green tint to it, mostly white. Now the lemon will go on top, and I'm going, it might be hard to see that, but as I. Well, the lemon doesn't want to come out. It's all in one clump, but I'll get it out. I think once I put the water in, it should dissolve pretty quick. But this one appears to have gotten a little moister, but as you can see, there's yellow specks in it. I will not put the sugar in yet. I'm going to go ahead and pour. Oops, sorry about that. I bumped my mount. I'm going to go ahead and pour in the water I'll pour in about that much to start with going to stir it up I can already smell the the aroma of the lemon lime. I'm just going to pour in the rest of the water. Now I'll take care of that. Now I will add a little bit of this sugar, maybe about half of it to start. The sugar is kind of causing it to fizz a little bit as I stir it. doesn't have much color to it, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. Uh, I think it needs the rest of the sugar, so I'm going to go ahead and dump that in. But uh, the lemon and the lime are equally present. So this would be an approximation of either a Sprite or 7-Up or Sierra Mist. 
or any other lemon lime flavored uh, sodas or some people call it pop I use both words I'm gonna taste it again there we go that'll work I think that'll work for what I'm doing it'll be a good palate cleanser for this now what I have here as far as the snacks go this is a, a Russian bar that uh, came in my uh, latest mystery box and uh, I have not tried to translate it but here is the ones that have always come in the rations before and are still in Russian rations this is a, a plum fig based because it has pictures of plums and figs these are both 50 gram and uh, I'm not sure what this one is I don't trust my translator app, especially with packaging like this. Gonna open it up, and I can see that it is dark, like the other ones. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna move these other things to the side. I'll get to these in a minute. I'm going to open up this this bar here. Actually, I'll put that right there so you can see it. This one is very sticky to the wrapper. I'm going to hold them side by side. This one is a little bit wider, but it's a little just a hair thinner, so like I said, they're both 50 gram. This one is just a hair darker, and it has more uh, bits of uh, ingredients that are a lighter color. Whereas this one is just a solid, it just looks like a big old clump of uh, plum or date or fig or whatever is in there. So again, these are the the fruit bars. I'm going to put them like that so I can see them with the wrappers. I'm going to go ahead and taste this one first because this is the one that I'm familiar with. The plum is the dominant flavor, but the fig is there. Just a nice fruity taste. I'm going to take a drink of this. Now I'm going to taste this one. This one, the plum is not so prevalent. I think this is more fig. The fig flavor is a lot more prominent in here. And it does look similar to the inside of this one. So I'll hold them up side by side. But they're both equally good bars. Now I'm going to move these to the side. And I'm going on to the next one. I'm going to take a, a sip of this first. Now I'm going to go on to the nougat bars, the fruit nougat bars. This one that does not have any kind of branding, just a clear wrapper, this is from a British ration. These bars are very, very sticky. 
And the strapper wants to be a pain in the dupa. There we go. Now, now I'll get it out. I think this wrapper is going to be pretty much destroyed. But since you can't really see, uh, I'll still put that one there. So it has rice paper on the thin sides. So when you're uh, eating it, you would hold on to these sides. And of course, rice paper is edible. It's just to make two sides of it less sticky. Now this one here that has the the brand name and the label on it, this is the French RCIR nougat bar. Now it actually says nougat. Looks very, very similar. It's got the rice paper on the narrow sides. And it looks like very similar fruits, although this one has some lighter fruits, maybe passion. This one has more of the darker fruits in it. So I'm going to take a taste of this one first. It's quite sweet. The nougat is easy to chew. I'm not sure what the fruit I just picked up, but it might have been uh, a peach or other, uh, or something like that. But there looks like two pieces of fruit on top of each other. Now I'm going to take a taste of this uh, French one. The fruit flavor is more towards raisin. There could be currants in there too. So again, this is a French, this is a British Now I'm going to move these to the side. And don't worry, I actually will finish these off. Just moving them to the side here. I probably should have got a tray, but I just decided to go for a plate. Now I'll show something that I have never seen in the ration before. These are the Beyond the Beaten Track chocolate biscuits. And it's a two pack. And these are the French campaign or army biscuits that usually come in a box with sometimes two flavors, sometimes three. This is a three flavor pack. These are the chocolate ones. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up. And these are the French ones. Give a close up. They have a little bit of a scalloped edge to them. Now I'm going to open up the British chocolate biscuits. These are slightly different. There's not a lot of color variation, but the same scallop pattern on the edge. They're closer to the color of, say, a chocolate graham cracker. There are not as many 
bits of the chocolate in them. You can see them on this side more than uh, than what would be the top side. So to compare the size, the French one is, well, they're almost identical in size. In fact, I would say they are identical in size, but as you can tell, the color difference There's a lot more chocolate bits in the French one. So I'll take a taste of, the, of one of the French ones first. That does almost taste like a chocolate graham cracker. The chocolate is very prevalent in there. Now I'm going to take a taste of uh, the British chocolate biscuit. It's a lot crunchier. It's a bit more dense. So it took a little bit more effort to bite into. And the chocolate is there, but not quite as strong as in the French one. But still, it's it has that taste of a chocolate graham cracker, or very close to it. Still, they're both very good. Now I'm going to move these off over here. And for my last comparison, these out of the way, I'm going to use these Russian uh, crackers as my base. A neutral flavor. So now what I'm going to do is do a peanut butter comparison. What I have here is an older Canadian peanut butter that used to be in uh, this color pack. Now Canadian peanut butters come in this color pack. But we'll still have the Canadian maple leaf on there and uh, the French translation of peanut butter. And I have the British Smooth Peanut Butter. They always uh, label their peanut butter where it, regardless if it's smooth or crunchy or chunky or whatever they choose to use. And then I have the U.S. Uh, Mill Spec Peanut Butter. It just says peanut butter. If it was chunky or crunchy, then it would say that. But U.S. Peanut Butters are never labeled smooth if they are the smooth peanut butter. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm ripping off a notch. So here comes the Canadian. I, it's This one might be a bit runny, even though I just tried to knead it. So that's the Canadian. Now I'm going to uh, open up the smooth peanut butter. The British one. This one is a little bit less runny. Now the American peanut butter. Oh, this one's coming out a bit runny, even though I uh, kneaded it. 
Or is this, I think, might be one of my older ones. There we go. So there we have the different peanut butters. Again, the Canadian, British, and American. And that one seems a bit uh, runny, so I can always try that again. But I'm going to go ahead and take a taste of uh, this one. Uh, oil is just running all over the place. And I got a actual glob of it, and I just broke the cracker, but that's okay. That one, uh, actually, I'll go ahead and get this one that has a little bit of actual peanut butter, not just oil. Peanut butter does make you thirsty, that's for sure. But the strong peanut taste, it's not a sweet peanut butter like uh, a lot of American uh, you know, peanut butters that you can go into a store and buy. Um, this is the British smooth peanut butter. That one is a little sweeter. And it's not so, uh, the oil is uh, well mixed into it. It's not separating. Now, uh, this is the American peanut butter. That, uh, is in the one ounce pack that is usually in the mil spec MREs. And for some reason, this one has a lot of oil in it, but that's okay, I'll deal with it. That one is actually a little bit sweeter than uh, the British peanut butter. Not by much, but just a little bit. But I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more than, of it than just the oil. An actual glob of it. That looks better. And that bite I tasted more of the peanut butter bread. I could still taste that it had a little bit of sweetness to it. So again, this is a Canadian, British, and American uh, uh, mill spec peanut butters. And over here I have the 
the French chocolate biscuit that I compared with the British chocolate biscuit, which I had never seen before in a ration. And over here I have the two uh, nougat bars. Sorry, this one, the French one was off camera. This is a, a British one. This is a French one. And then I have the two Russian uh, fruit bars. This is a, the new one to me that uh, the fig taste is more prevalent. And this one here, the plum, is more prevalent. And then, of course, in the glass, I had the, the true lemon and true lime that I mixed with the last of my Pellegrino carbonated water that I used to mix the cola drink in my last ration review. And I threw in a little sugar to uh, make my version of a uh, lemon-lime soda that I wanted to use as a palate cleanser as I was uh, tasting these uh, snacks. So I wanted to do this little video just to uh, have a little something different. And again, you know, these will not go to waste. I will, uh, I will nibble on these and uh, go ahead and get this uploaded. So thanks to uh, Emory Nation and uh, Foreign Emory for uh, supplying me with all these goodies to share with you. Thanks for watching and catch you on the flip side.